Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco oh! and welcome to my channel. As for this video, we have some very, very tasty news about AFMF3. And I can tell you that I kind of already have AFMF3. And no, AMD did not send me AFMF3, I haven't tested it yet, officially. But unofficially, I kind of did. <laughs> In case you didn't watch my previous video, we had some leaks about AFMF3 being on the PyTorch drivers, on the AMD beta drivers, or kind of preview drivers for PyTorch on Windows. And well, what happens is that if you install those drivers, those PyTorch preview drivers right now in your card on your RX 9000 series, and I believe that the 7000 series are also supported, um, and if they aren't, they will be, it's just a preview driver, of course. But again, all you have to do is install those drivers, and as soon as you go to the AMD graphics settings and you go to AFMF 2.1, and yes, I'm talking about 2.1, not 3, and yet, we already have some new features. But before, let me feature today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall. Bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only 15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. And yes, I'm talking about 2.1, not 3, and yet, we already have some new features. If you are familiar enough with AFMF 2.1, you know that when you activate it, you have several options, like the search mode, that adjusts AMD Fluid Motion Frames algorithm to respond better to high motion scenes and improve smoothness, or will automatically select ideal settings depending on game's resolution. Standard is recommended for gaming at resolution of less than 2560 per 1440, high is recommended for gaming at a resolution of 2560 per 1440 and greater. However, this can be enabled at lower resolutions to improve smoothness. And then we have the performance mode that says reduces the potential performance overhead of AMD fluid motion frames, but may lower the image quality during high motion scenes. Auto will automatically select the recommended mode depending on what GPU AFMF is active on. Performance is recommended for integrated GPUs or when playing at high FPS. Quality is recommended for discrete GPUs. So this is nothing new, we have the search mode and the performance mode. But with these drivers, we have another bonus setting, fast motion response. And the AMD note says, configure AFMF's response to fast motion to either use a repeat frame to maintain image quality or a blended frame for smoother motion. Now, I tested this a bit and I didn't test much because of the AFMF 3 part that we'll be talking about very, very soon, believe me. Um, but yeah, it does seem that with a blended mode, the smooth, the, um, the motion is smoother. So the image kind of appears smoother, but at the same time, you can find some more artifacts here and there, especially when it comes to the HUD. But when using the repeat frame mode, the image quality is a bit better, but it doesn't feel as smooth. But this is in fact a new feature on AFMF 2.1, and I believe this is one of the new features that will integrate into AFMF 3, because we know that AFMF 3 is very close, and that's the reason why we got some new features for AFMF 2.1, I assume. I might be incorrect, of course, but that's what I assume, at least. But yeah, this is the first one. But there's more. As soon as you go into a game and you activate AFMF and you press like Alt plus R, you can see the mode that you are running into. So it says that AFMF is, is using a certain mode. And in this case scenario, as soon as you use a normal game or you use AFMF 2.1 in a game, it will show that it is running the standard mode. And if it is running the standard mode, it means that it has some other modes. And you might say, well, Fabio, you're just dumb. That's the normal thing that AFMF shows. It just shows that it is running on the, on the standard mode. It is what it is. Well, not really, because in the standard, the normal standard mode, it says that AFMF fluid motion frames may add some performance uh, overhead, I believe, to the game. The source FPS may be higher with FMF or AFMF disabled, which is, of course, normal because um, the algorithm takes power to run, so without AFMF, the base frame rates are a bit higher. Okay, that's all, that's fine. But, but, but now, now listen, listen to this. this. 
As soon as I went in that article that showed that AFMF3 was leaked in those PyTorch drivers, I went and, ke and kept reading and reading and I saw that one guy actually managed to kind of enable AFMF3 in the drivers. And it works. Or at least let's say that it shows AFMF3. It definitely shows if you run into a game and you do this act, which is fairly easy to be honest, it's using AMD GPU Profile Manager, you can use it and as soon as you do it, if you go into a game with that Profile Manager added, you can see AFMF3 enabled or disabled or whatever. So it kind of works. And I tested a bit and to be honest, I don't think that we have a FMF3 algorithm already. So the algorithm is still the algorithm from the 2.1 from AFMF 2.1, so it's not really FMF 3, but what we can do, I believe, is kind of unlock the features or maybe unlock the UI for AFMF 3. And that shows us some things already. Now, remember the standard mode that we're talking about before, about the, the standard and non-standard mode? Well, it happens that when you, you, when you, <laughs> it happens that when you make this mod works and you enable AFMF 3 in your games, something new kind of unlocks. And that's something is the fallback to AFMF standard mode. So instead of having just the standard mode, now we have active fallback to AFMF standard mode. AMD Fluid Motion Frames has failed to detect applicable in-game information, listen to this, and has switched to AFMF standard mode. Please attempt enabling in-game settings such as motion blur or AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution Upscale to resolve this issue. Fluid Motion Frames has failed to detect applicable in-game information. And while you might think this is nothing, this is much. This is very much already. This means that AFMF3 will most likely kind of um, kind of use the upscaling technologies inside the game to retrieve data from the game. Imagine that you're, you're running a game, for example, a game that only has FSR 3 or FSR 3.1. You go into that game and you enable FSR 4. As soon as you enable FSR 4, you are injecting FSR 4 on top of FSR 3.1. In, in many games, like for example, Chronos, The New Dawn, Dying Light, The Beast and so on, you are injecting FSR 4. Now, when you are injecting FSR 4, the, the adrenaline software most likely has some information of the motion vectors, depth and so on. Maybe, maybe or if they they aren't doing it right now, they can get access to that because they are injecting FSR4 into the game. And I believe that AMD will try to use those same motion vectors, maybe even the HUD, the, the HUD information to AFMF3. So meaning that if you are running motion blur to kind of help somehow, I don't really know, or if you're running Fidelity FX Super Resolution inside your game, AFMF's quality will increase a lot. So instead of using a standard mode, it will most likely use another thing like the enhanced mode. And I'll show you something about that as well, but it will most likely use an enhanced mode or something like FSR mode or something like that, I don't really know, or in-game mode, where it will kind of pick the information from FSR and use it as a base to help AFMF in terms of quality and latency, and that is awesome, meaning that we can have frame generation outside of the game engine, but since we are picking information from the game engine regarding FSR, so FSR is actually providing information from the game to AFMF in order for AFMF that is an outside of the game frame generator to have better quality because it somehow gets information from the game from FSR. That's, that's just great. And if it works this way, it is going to be awesome because again, it might mean that it picks really the information from the game uh, from FSR to AFMF, making it with better quality and possibly lower latency. And this, if true, this will mean that the image quality from AFMF will increase a lot. And that's great for the future of AFMF. It's actually really exciting. And by the way, I'm sorry about the audio quality that you're about to hear, but I was trying uh, as I was recording with Audacity and my other microphone, I was trying to, uh, well, to run Alan Wake, but since I was running those mother drivers with FMF3 and so on, uh, things went bananas. So I'm now using the, the camera's microphone on the rest of the video, just for you guys to know. And remember the enhanced mode that we spoke before of? Well, I know it is called enhanced mode because I was actually able to make it work. And when I say work, I mean, 
work on one game. The game was Alan Wake and it definitely works. As soon as you go into the game, you do that AFMF3 mod. It says that AFMF3 is enabled, even though we know that it isn't, because we have debug bars on the sides of the monitor, meaning that, and of course, the smoothness isn't there. So in that game, it is trying to use FSR algorithm or something. It is trying to use the enhanced mode, but it just won't work. The FPS won't increase, the smoothness won't increase. Um, the game is completely messed up, but at least we know that the enhanced mode is at least an idea. And as soon as you hover the mouse over it, all it says is that AMD Fluid Motion Frames, AFMF, may add some performance overhead to the game. The source FPS may be higher with FMF disabled, meaning that the enhanced mode is there and they are trying or working on it, but they have no text for the enhanced mode yet. And as you're seeing, we have debug bars on the sides. That means that maybe the software is trying to use AFMF's three maybe the algorithm or something, it is actually trying to use the new version of AFMF, but since the version isn't there per se, or at least entirely there, uh, we can't use it. But again, we do have, now you know that we do have the standard mode and we have the enhanced mode and maybe maybe we'll have something newer like the FSR mode or so on. And well, I guess that's all for this video. I just really wanted to show you the things that I found about these drivers. Remember, for you to enable the AFMF3 mode, even though it won't really do anything to you, it will just tell you that AFMF3 is enabled even though it isn't. But yeah, if you want to do it, just go to the link in the description for that forum post on guru3d.com. You can just go there and it will give you step by step how to do it. It is fairly simple, especially if you used um, the AMD GPU profile manager before. It just works the same way that you used before to enable FSR4. Now, as soon as you create a profile, it will automatically like out of the box because that version is modded, out of the box enable. Uh, AFMF3 for that game as well. But again, it just, it, it doesn't work because AFMF3 isn't there. But you can go install the PyTorch drivers, not do any kind of modding and still have the new motion response, whatever uh, option for AFMF 2.1, which might be the thing that you're looking for if you are a heavy AFMF 2.1 user. Still, I'm really eager to test AFMF3 and I'll, I will definitely test it and bring you a video of it as soon as it gets released. That's my jam. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video. Leave your comment in the comment section. Let me know if you noticed this before, if you didn't, if you already tested it, if you like the quality mode or the performance mode, if you like the blended frame or the, or the repeat frame, just let me know in the comment section. And if you already have tried the FMF3 mod, and if you knew before that we had the standard and enhanced mode, just let me know in the comment section because again, this if, if this works this way, this is a magnificent idea. Using FSR inputs to go into the adrenaline software to use them with the FMF. That's, that's just genius, really. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Cheers.